Hello and welcome to the ninth tutorial in the Cocos 2DX Flappy Bird C++ tutorial series and in this part we're going to be looking at the Flappy Bird class creation. We're going to be using the source code from the previous tutorial as we have been doing in that one and in the one before and in the one before so if you don't have it there will be a link in the description. Now we are going to add the bird class which will create and draw the Flappy Bird or it's actually called Fabby, and the bird's name is Fabby, uh, we can duplicate the pipe class and refactor it for ease of use. So if we just right click, show in Finder, and we're going to duplicate these two, and now we just need to rename them. I'm going to rename them to bird, and now we just need to add them to our project, add them below pipe wherever you want really, Add to the map project, why not? And now, if we just go to a bird.h, first of all, what we're going to do is I think we'll leave these, we'll get rid of this. Actually, let's work our way down. It's a lot better that way, more efficient, less likely to miss something out. And let's change this to bird. Change this to bird as well. This looks a okay. Now we'll go to a bird.cpp, include the bird.h file. We're going to need the definition file, so let's just leave that there. Change that to bird, change that to bird. We can delete this function entirely actually, because we don't have a spawn pipe obviously. And yeah, and we got that for the header. And now what we're going to do is go back to our bird.h. I'm going to add a sprite here, which will basically be our bird or circle in my case. Cocos 2D, colon, colon, sprite, colon, flappy bird, semicolon. And then we can go to our bird.cpp. And now in our file here, we're going to do flappy bird equals sprite, colon, colon, create. And in here, we're going to initialize it with this image right here. Where is it? Board.png. Board.png. Then we'll do Flappy Bird. Set position. And we'll just set it to the center of the screen. So visible size dot width divided by 2 plus origin dot x. Now visible size dot height divided by 2 plus origin dot y and the next thing to do is do auto flappy body we're going to create the physics body for our bird equals physics body colon colon create circle we're going to use a circle because our because we're using a ball so it is a circle if you're using a physics that's more rectangular like you can use just the create box, or if you use something a bit more custom, maybe like Flappy Bird, then you could maybe use a circle or just use something like Physics Editor and create your own custom physics body. So for this, we're just going to specify the radius, which is Flappy Bird, get content size, dot width divided by two. Now we're going to do Flappy Bird. Set physics body and we're just going to set the body that we've created right here. I will just copy and paste it. Now I'm going to select it. And now I oh, forgot to do one thing. In the bird constructor, it's going to take a layer because we're going to be adding it from the constructor, not from like a draw or a spawn method as we had in the pipe. We're just going to have the one bird. I keep talking about just one bird. Have you played the Flappy Bird clone? There's so many of them, but online where there's you've got one bird, but you can see everybody else's birds as well. And so it's like a multiplayer game, but you're not really affected by them, or at least not directly, because they do get in your way sometimes, just visually, so you do crash because of that. It's an interesting concept, that is. Layer, add child. Every time I say layer, I think of a layer from Star Wars, it just sounds like that layer. And we're just going to put 100 so it's on top because we want this on top of everything just to make sure. Now let's create an object of the bird in the game scene header. Plus we will also need to include the bird header so it can be accessed. So if we just go to game scene.h, 
hash include bird.h and now here we're going to do bird bird we'll just call it bird it's a lot easier forgot uh, we're going to get an error and the reason is we need to create the other pointer simply because it doesn't have a default constructor I'm going to need to initialize it specifically with the other constructor which will be passing in a layer and if we go to a game scene.cpp and where did we initialize the other the pipe art oh, we forgot we didn't need to initialize it my bad and now we can just put it here so we'll put bird equals new bird and for the layer we're just going to pass in this so now if we run this we'll have a circle okay that's what's going to be our bird in the center of the screen with a physics body and you'll see what happens so now let's just let it run and here we go with the splash screen let's just click play we got our bird it falls down and it bounces And obviously it's doing something dodgy with the because collision detection hasn't been detected because if you were to collide with the pipe or even the top or bottom it will go to the game mode screen aka die but in the next part of the series we're going to be looking at collision detection so we can detect if the bird has collided with either the top or the bottom pipe or the edges if you have any questions feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk .co.uk the email will be in the description you can comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube all the required links for source code will also be in the description and as usual thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day